and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you are not getting the results you are looking for from your digital marketing efforts, this is the podcast for you. And now, here's the host of our show, the local business guy himself, Frank Deming. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Frank Deming, the local business guy. And welcome to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everyone. I hope you guys are having a rocking, rocking week thus far. Today, I want to get a little deep into some of the stuff that we talked about last week. <clears throat> if you recall, last week, we discussed some mistakes that your law firm was making um, when it came to, you know, some mistakes that you want to avoid for 2023, because we were looking at things that <clears throat> that, that were trending um, in terms of mistakes, and we want you to not do that anymore okay now if you recall one of the elements we talked about is keyword research because you were doing that incorrectly so i want to dive in a little deeper this week on that topic because it's very important folks that we get this correct keyword research is everything when it comes to um, it, when it comes to generating traffic, um, if you have the wrong keywords, if you're doing it incorrectly, you're going to generate the wrong traffic. And if you're going to get all that work done, you might as well send the right people to your site. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, um, and before we get into the content of today's uh, episode, I just want to remind you guys, if you are looking um, for a a marketing audit or anything like that uh, for for your law firm, head on over to our website, lbmsllc.com. And then on on the top of the page, you're going to see a free online report. Click on that button and then fill out the form and... um, you get your free online report. Once you get that, you can get on the phone with us and we will give you a free analysis. So usually once you download that report, um, we we charge you for the analysis. <laughs> uh, but between now and the end of the year, so for the rest of this quarter, for the rest of this year, we are offering that for free. And this is 2022. So in case you're listening to this and it's already 2023, too late. So hopefully you're catching this episode in 2022. And it has if it has not ended yet, and you fill out that <clears throat> if you and you request an online presence report of your business, uh, the consultation um, instead of charging you for it we're going to give it for free between now and the end of 2022 that is my gift for you for the holiday season anywho all right guys so let's go into the topic at hand keywords it's probably not the sexiest topic okay for a lot of people but it's very critical very 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 critical because, as I said before, with the right keyword strategy that you have in place, it is going to have a positive impact with all the visitors that come to your site. And it's going to almost guarantee, you notice I said almost, because there's nothing guaranteed in life, but it's almost going to guarantee website conversions. Okay? Because... Again, why are you spending all this time? Like, let's say, let's say you're doing an SEO strategy, right? You're spending all this time getting all these backlinks, and then the wrong, the wrong keywords. You're sending people to the wrong place, and, you know. Or, or if <clears throat> if you're doing a pay per click advertising thing, all this money you're spending on on traffic, and the only thing you got for it <clears throat> is a bunch of uh, you know wrong people. So, 
Think of it this way. This is how important, I'm going to tell you how important keyword research is um, in, um, in, in online marketing. Okay, and this is why I want to dive deep this week because I kind of brushed upon it last week. But this week, I want to dive deep as to how important this is. I'm going to put it in perspective so that everybody can understand. Okay, let's assume that you own a steakhouse. If you don't target the right people, you're going to get a bunch of vegetarians or vegans going to your steakhouse. I mean, it could happen. That is the importance of keyword research. You may, you want to make sure that when someone goes to your site, they are meat eaters because you have a steakhouse. Okay, so let's let's go with. I'm, I'm going to give you four steps to keyword research success. Very simple. Uh, number one, <clears throat> and this is the most important part: brainstorming. You want to, you, first of all, with brainstorming, you don't want to do this by yourself, okay? You want to pull your team together and you want to brainstorm a list of keywords that your target audience may or may not be typing. Now, if you're working with a digital marketing agency, that's a team. That's a team. You know, they should be doing this with you or for you anyway. But in case you're not, and you're doing it by yourself, you're a larger law firm, and you have a marketing uh, department, you guys should be doing this. And keyword brainstorming is not something that's a, you know, it's no longer set and forget, okay? I would I would say you, you should be doing this um, <clears throat> biannually. If not quarterly, okay, brainstorming on keywords. Um, <clears throat> we use tools to help us. We use tools like SEM Rush, uh, AHREFs, et cetera, et cetera. These are all tools that help you brainstorm as to what people are typing, what kind of traffic your competitors are getting, et cetera, et cetera. And then you want to, you don't want to head on with your competitor. You want to look for keywords similar to that and siphon some traffic away from them. But that's another traffic, that's another traffic strategy for another day. I don't want to get into that. Today, we're talking about keyword research. So number one is you want to brainstorm and you don't want to do this alone. The key factor of this piece is you don't want to do it alone. You want to brainstorm with your team. And if your team is the digital marketing agency, include them. Let them know <clears throat> that you you have a vested interest on in the keywords that they're selecting for you. Have them email it to you. I, I do that with my clients. I say, hey, here are the keywords we're thinking about. We're going to refresh. We're going to add some more, et cetera, et cetera. And that's the that's key. That's the key. That's success right there. Number two, you want to watch your, com- your competition. I touched on it a little bit already. <clears throat> tools like SEM Rush, tools like uh, AHREFs, they're going to tell you what your competition, what kind of traffic your competition is getting. That's gold. Knowing the kind of traffic your competition is getting is going to help you um, orchestrate a marketing plan that, again, I would not, I would advocate against hitting them head on. That's not the way you win. It depends. If your competition is Similar size to you, yeah, hit them head on. But if they're like way ahead of you in terms of traffic, way ahead of you, hitting them head on is the wrong tactic. Finding keywords similar to what they're doing and nibbling at their traffic is the right traffic, which then eventually you'll be able to hit them head on. That's a tr- another strategy for another day, okay? But you want to take note of the keywords that they're using <clears throat> and where where they are with those searches, you know, are they, you know, are they coming up number one, two or three in the, in the search engine results, you know, that way, you know, Hey, they're getting a ton of traffic, And these tools will tell you actually the type of clicks they're getting per keyword and everything. So there's no guessing. Okay. So number two, watch your competition. Number three, you want to monitor 
the con- the conversation. Here's what I mean about this. Okay, you want to turn to things like social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, link, especially LinkedIn. Uh, well, all, all three of them: Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Um, and you want to tap into what your target market, your target audience is talking about. You know, the questions they have and and the help that, that they need. You want to tap into that. When you do this, you will know what questions you can answer in a blog post. Okay. Or maybe in a, in a guest blog post, you know, either way. You want to drive people <clears throat> to your site with the answer of what people are talking about on the social outlets. You know, Facebook is good. Instagram is good. Um, LinkedIn, not so much. A lot of people don't talk about this stuff on LinkedIn. I, I threw this in there just in case because I I have been seeing an uptick in that kind of conversation going on LinkedIn. So I threw it in there. But you want to go on forums. You want to go on things like Quora, Medium. They do talk about those <clears throat> And those sites. Okay, so you want to monitor the conversation. That's so important. Okay. Number four, last and definitely not least, you want to experiment with Google. Okay. I want you to head on over to the search bar and I want you to start to begin to type, um, you know, just just different terms, different um, general terms that, that align with, you know, with, with, uh, you know, with your target audience. Okay. Just general terms. And here's what I want you to do with this. This is a very sneaky tack. It's not really sneaky, but it, it, it you can get some low hanging fruit doing this. Um, you want to pay attention to Google's auto suggest feature. Okay. Sometimes it really works. Okay. Because it will actually give you insight into like some popular searches for that topic. Um, Then you could go back to step one, which is brainstorm. And step two, which is watch a competition and see where that lies in the grand scheme of things of your strategy. Okay, so you you do you definitely want to do this. Um, So. Those are the four steps, folks. Really simple. Brainstorm, watch your competition, your competition, monitor the conversation, and experiment with Google. Um, keyword strategy, folks, is critical for your success in 2023. Um, I said that last week. I'm re- I'm reiterating it again this week because it's that important. Okay, so you don't want to leave this uh, for last. You want to pay attention to this. You want to start doing this now. So that way, when you hit the ground running in 2023, you're good to go. That's about it for this episode, folks. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did get a lot out of it, please share this with an attorney that you may know uh, or, or uh, you know, some some folks within your um, uh, within your firm that are other like paralegals or whatever that you think can benefit from this. And please, if you're on Apple or or Google or anything, subscribe to the channel, Um, you know, uh, follow us. That's the only way we get to push out this content and grow this show. So without further ado, I'm going to end this episode. Uh, This has been Frank Deming, the local business guy. Until next week. Take care and bye for now. Peace out. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. The podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Don't forget, any links that were mentioned during the broadcast will be available to you in the show notes. So be sure to grab them while you have the chance. Incidentally, if you have any topics that you would like for us to discuss on the show, be sure to send an email to the email provided in the show notes or click the contact us link and let us know what topic you would like us to help you with. And we'll be sure to add it to our schedule. 
If you would like for Frank and his team to look at your digital marketing presence and give you a free evaluation, simply click the request a free consultation link in the show notes to get a hold of them. That being said, until our next episode, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.